72 youngsters experiencing the start as they move out from the blocks in the coxed octopal skulls for under 15 girls sponsored by Adidas Eyewear and quite an impressive sight as you have a look at them on the screen from the rear and you can see that these boats all move pretty quickly and uh, they're all being propelled at a pretty even speed at this stage except perhaps down on lane one Samuel Marsden College just dropping back a little bit and maybe in lane three Cambridge High School as well Lane four, St Peter's School, and we haven't they shown the way with sculling this week? And St Peter's School just uh, out now to buy half a canvas over the crew immediately outside them, which are the visitors from Christchurch, St Margaret's, and uh, they've gone uh, a quarter of a length up on the crew in lane two, which is St Kennigan College, and their crosstown rivals, Rangiruru, in lane six. Then we go back to Tauranga Girls College. And out in front as this race progresses quite rapidly for an under 15 race. And it's still at St Peter's School now, a third of a length over St Margaret's. In turn we'd have half a length Over, I think it's St. Kennigan. Got close up of the bow four of the St. Peter's crew. Now extends past them, and you can see that they've moved just a little bit further in front. They've got just over half a length lead now over St. Margaret's. And it's St. Kennigan College lurking there, just on the shoulder of St. Margaret's. Somewhat Easier rating there from Miss Annual Marsden and uh, Cambridge High School. They got the rating up, but not quite as effective as some of the uh, other crews that are further ahead of them. But nevertheless, you've got to be accurate in an octuple. If you're not, the boat soon gets into trouble. A good display here from St Peter's School and the under 15 girls, Cox. Octuple skulls, they've got now almost a length on uh, St Margaret's and they haven't reached the halfway mark yet. St Margaret's have got half a length over St Kennigan and those three crews have cleared out from the rest. Those three boats have got the speed. A new event this and so very people probably feeling their way with the uh, speed of the boats. That quick. through the 1,000 metre mark now, and that's St Peter's in front with the bow ball of St Margaret's just sitting in line with the coxswain on the St Peter's boat. Still that half length margin back to St Kennigan. Rangiruru would be in fourth place. They're leading the rest of the pack. Lower rating crew, Tauranga girls as well and suffering the same fate as Samuel Marsden, really. It, these boats are so quick, you've got to be onto them quickly, and that generates a reasonably high rating. Then 35 and a half for uh, St Peter's, and doesn't that look sweet? Drink it in. Very well drilled. They've just got that length now clear on St Margaret's. And the slight difference with St Margaret's is that they're just uh, dropping their hands low as they come to the front of the slide and their blades just missing the water a little bit at the start of the stroke, a little bit more than uh, St Peter's. St Peter's are more accurate and they're uh, getting the benefit. They've moved out to a length clear uh, 
through the 1,250 metre mark of this 2,000 metre race. You can't say anybody's a certainty in a race like this with uh, eight scullers and uh, either first year or, or, or second year scullers. There's always a chance it's going to be an accident, but barring accidents, St Peter's have got control of this race, total control of it. In, in their turn, St, St Margaret's have got that second place absolutely under control also. St Kennigan, now really back on the stern of St Margaret's. Rangi River improving a little. Taronga Girls improving. And on the far side, Onslow College also improving. But they're not going to get close. It's a quick boat and there's only about uh, 300 metres left to travel. They're down to the 1750 metre mark, St Peter's, over St Margaret's, over St Kennigan, and uh, that's when the Saints come marching in again. We had it earlier on and, uh, and John was commenting. Rangaruru and still in fourth place. Set out in pursuit of St Kettigan's for that uh, bronze medal. But uh, St Peter's took that length by the 1,000 metres, have held it the rest of the way, and now just leaning a little bit uh, harder, pushing a little harder on those blades, and they're just opening up a little more clear water as they come to the line. And St Peter's School are going to win this uh, Cox Otuple Skulls event from St Margaret's. And St Kettigan's fighting with Rangi Ruru to, to uh, keep that bronze medal position. And they do so. They will cross the line in third place. Time now for the Coxed Octopole Skulls. And for those of you who are not familiar with what Octopole is, it means rowing with two oars in an eight, which normally the girls only row with one. So that is a lot of oars in a boat. So let's begin. This is sponsored by Adidas Eyewear. We are honoured to have Joseph Sullivan, New, Zeal New Zealand Olympic gold medal winner. We're fabulous to have you here with us, Joseph. So we look forward to you presenting the medals. Thank you, everyone. It's great to have our New Zealand rowers take time out to come and present these medals. The winners of the bronze medal for the girls under 15, Coxed Octopole, St Kentigan College. <laughs> now Joseph has a lot of work to do. In this crew, Alex Hines, Lucy Wilson, Grace Barry, Emily Switek, Lucy Farnsworth, Jessica, Jessica Munnick, Lauren Oliver, Abigail Paul, they're coxed by Georgia Evans, and they're coached by Sophie Wilson. Their time, 718.66. So one there for Cox and Georgia, just about. <laughs> Just about. Thank you. And one for Coach Sophie. Congratulations, St. Kent's!
Now the winners of the silver medal for the under 15 coxed octopus skulls, St. Margaret's. <laughs> this crew is made up of Charlotte Hutchinson, Riley Marshall, Georgia Lund, Alice Elworthy, Felicity House, Charlotte Lyle, Kate MacArthur, Nadia Edmund, and they are coxed by Gita Heitke. They're proudly coached by Annalise Calder and Alex Hazlitt. The time for St. Margaret's was 7 11.89. One for Cox and Gita, and one to share for Annalise and Alex. Congratulations, silver medalist, St. Margaret's. <laughs> now the Aon New Zealand Secondary School Rowing Champs, girls under 15 Cox Octopus Skull Champions, St. Peter's. <laughs> We have Morgan Brown, Hannah Smythe, Keely Hoskin, Ruby Butler, Brooke Kilmister, Caitlin Burns, Katie Bell, Amy Butler. Their coxswain is Victoria Chan Wai. And they're coached by Janie Wackrow and Ali Douse. The time for St. Peter's 7.06.58. <laughs> St. Peter's, of course, just outside Cambridge. <laughs> Thanks once again to Joseph Sullivan for being here to present the medals on behalf of Adidas Eyewear. <laughs> One for the coaches, Janie and Ellie. And winners t-shirts for each of the crew. Let's congratulate once again our gold medal winners, St. Peter's.